today we're talking about modeling data with a line of best fit, and that's 6.2. That's on pages 401 to 412 in your text. Our curriculum outcome is to demonstrate understanding of the representation and analysis of data using polynomial functions of degree less than or equal to three, logarithmic functions, exponential functions, and sinusoidal functions. Our lesson objectives, number one, to understand why we would need to draw a line of best fit. Number two, to be able to use technology to find a line of best fit and its equation for the set of data. And number three, to understand the difference between interpolation and extrapolation. So in previous courses, we've learned that when the trend of a graph set of data looks like a line, we can draw a line of best fit to help describe the relationship. And we did this in a lot in physics as well, not just math. Um, we can do this by hand, but with a lot of data, it makes more sense to use technology to graph the data, draw the line of best fit, and we can tell it to find the equation of the line of best fit instead of us doing it by hand. To do this, we're gonna use spreadsheet software, specifically, or I'm gonna use Microsoft Excel today. And we're gonna just start off with an example. It says, graph the data you find comparing a person's height and their hand span on pages 401 of the text. Find the line of best fit and equation of that line by using Microsoft Excel. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna enter your data. You wanna highlight the two columns of that data, choose the insert tab, and then choose the scatter option. Now, because I don't run Microsoft Excel on this laptop, I just took some screenshots from my home computer. So I've entered the data here. You need to highlight it. You can even include the, the titles. And then you wanna go up to insert tab, and then over to the scatter option. So when you do that, you need to click on the graph that's that's made, and it'll look like this, hand span. Um, there's all the dots of all this data, and you can see that they've done the uh, the height across the bottom, and they've done the hand span across the top, or across the uh, vertical axis. You wanna look for the picture. After you highlight it, you'll see chart tools come up. You wanna look for this picture right here that has f of x on it. Now you may have to uh, scroll up and down, but you're gonna find that picture that has f of x on it. After you've done that, this will come up and you can see that the line or the equation for that line is now gonna be shown right on top of your data. You can see that it even drew the line for you. That's what is considered the line of best fit. Now you can move the equation of the line over so you can read it better. And here's where it comes up. So I just clicked and dragged it over here so you can actually see the equation of the line. And it's that simple. You just have to enter the data and tell it to find the line as best fit. And if you choose that f of x one, it'll give you the equation as well. So we can use this equation, the y equals 0.2252x minus 18.224. And you could substitute in any value of x for it. So if you wanted to find out what the uh, hand span was for someone who was 165 centimeters tall, so someone right about here, um, that would correspond. You could look right on the graph and then move over and find out it would be, you know, somewhere around 18 or 19 centimeters. Um, or you could just plug that 165 right into your equation for X and you can find your answer that way. Or if you wanted to find out if that person had a hand span of 26 centimeters, you could find out how tall that person was by plugging in 26 in for Y and then uh, solving for X. You could read information off this graph and it's called interpolation. So interpolation is when you read information off the, the graph according to all the points that you, that you drew. So right now this line only goes from this point over to this value here. That's because that's all the data that we gave it. So anything that you read off of this line is called interpolation. But if you were to extend this line either this way or that way, then you're gonna be using this trend of data to make some assumptions about what's gonna happen for um, people with say heights that we haven't actually measured and that's called extrapolation that's when you when you can predict what happens outside of your data range so in summary any data that trends like a line or looks like it, you could draw a line through it can have a line of best fit drawn through it and the equation of that line can be found and it's easiest to use technology to do this although you could if you had a, a lot of data a lot of data points, something like that. You could draw that line yourself. And you could find the slope of that line just by counting squares or however you want to do it. And then you could also find the y-intercept right here. So you could write that as y equals mx plus b if you wanted to do that by hand. But when you have a lot of data, it's easiest to use technology. You just type it in and tell the spreadsheet what to do. Once the line or the equation has been found, you can use it to gather information from your data. And if you gather that information from inside your data, that's called interpolation, or if you extend that line and try and make some predictions about what would happen, that's called extrapolation. So your assignment is on pages 407 to 412. What I would suggest you do first is try that 
data on page 401 and make sure that it, um, you can use the program correctly and then you can start tackling the assignment. Um, and good luck and we'll see you in class.